Nelson Cruz bringing the home run celebration. Sombrero out to exchange lineups today. So it's making an appearance everywhere. On the mound for the Padres, he is Seth Lugo. Hopefully winning the rubber game here against the Cincinnati Reds, making his sixth start. Opponents hitting 273. Reds and Padres, hope you enjoy it from San Diego. Let's play. Digging in to get things started. Jonathan India. India with a swing and a miss, and he strikes out. Good start for Seth Lugo. Looks like the breaking ball, and there it is. The hanging curveball. Oh, wait, look at the front side of India. Really opening up the shoulder, the hips. Right there, no chance. Now T.J. Friedel. Friedel coming off a big night last night in which he had three hits, scored a run. In fact, Friedel scored the tying run in the eighth inning. Swinging a little looping liner over short. Bogarts can't get it, leaping straight up into the air. And that'll land in left center field for a base hit. Friedel three hits last night. Today, a single in his first at bat. Boy, the Reds would really like to get Spencer Steer going. It was a tough night for him last night. He finished 0 for 5, hit into a double play in his final at bat. Fly ball, shallow center. Incoming is Grisham, and he gets there to make the catch. And he may have deked him into a double play, and he has. Wow. He made it look like he wasn't going to get to that. There it is, the deke, and it works. Double play ends the inning. Padres are coming up. This is a guy that is not overpowering, but he if he attacks the strike zone with his fastball and is diligent about keeping his change up down. He's got a chance to keep these guys off balance here today. Trench has made a great defensive play to end the top of the first. And now leading off in the bottom half. Down the left field line, and that's going to get in for a base hit over his Fraley. Wide turn at first, but Grisham will throw the brakes on. And a base hit to start things here in the bottom of the first inning for Trent Grisham. Uh, Trent Grisham, uh, you are clear for a runway 3-5-niner. Ready for takeoff? Did I hear a niner in there? You most certainly did, and Grisham is taking off nicely with the single down the left field line. Fernando Tatis Jr. lost a nine-game hit streak. 0 for 5, 2 Ks yesterday. And a swing and a miss. He pulled the string on him there, and he had Tatis way out in front of that changeup, and that's out number one. So far in this series, Juan Soto, four out of nine with three doubles. And he will take four, ball four. Wow, that was a good pitch right at the knees. Did not get the call. Xander Bogarts coming up next. It has been a long streak, 30 games reaching base consecutively, and a new Padres record. And from right comes Fairchild to make the catch for out number two. Matt Carpenter, the DH today, batting out of the fifth spot. One ball rolled weakly to the right side. Up with it is Kevin Newman on the right side of second base this afternoon. He gloves and throws out Carpenter, and Sessa works a scoreless first. Hitting 262, but still looking for that first big fly. He's driven in 11. Stevenson standing in to lead off the Reds' second inning. A fly ball center field, and Grisham is there. Makes the catch bill of the cap high. Fraley two for four in yesterday's game with an RBI single in the top of the eighth inning that tied the game at one. And a miss away. He is on. First walk from Lugo. Now Nick Senzel comes to the plate. He snapped a six-game hit streak last night going 0 for 4. A ground ball to third. And the backhand is Kim. Plants and throws and gets him by a lot. Trying to go to third and doing so successfully is Fraley. When we talk about how much fun this team is to watch, it's that type of stuff that we're talking about. Under the right hand hitting Stuart Fairchild. Picked by Lugo. Wow. Down by the kneecaps. Gets it in the air. Return to center on a hot shot. Right back at him. Hockey Scoreless after anything and a half. Bottom of the second, no score. Jay Cronenworth leads off. To center. And a base hit starts things here in the second inning for Jay Cronenworth. A song. Three homers, nine runs batted in to go along with the 228 average. And that misses inside. For ball four. So the second walk allowed by Sessa going back to the eighth inning on Monday. Padres are now over the last 17 with runners in scoring position. So it has been a little while here for Odor. Did come off the bench last night. Poke to left coming on hard. Fraley extends and he makes the catch. The runners have gone more than halfway. They retreat. Big grab by Fraley, one away. And he did get a good jump on this. He's kind of on the run when that ball is underway, and that's good pursuit. Now can you get a ground ball from the backup catcher, Brent Sullivan? Fair ball down the right field line towards the corner. Around from second comes Cronenworth. Kim trying to score from first base. He will. Padres take a 2-0 lead. Everything about this at-bat is spectacular. 
First things first, there's the breaking ball. Down and in the lefty, throw the head to the pull side. It just stays fair. Good for Brett Sullivan. First RBIs in the big leagues for Brett Sullivan. Seth Lugo, one strikeout through the first two innings as Kevin Newman leads it off here in the third inning and grounds one softly back to Lugo. Flips to first for out number one. Boy, you love those outs. First pitch of the inning, little squibber back to you. Here's the number nine hitter, the shortstop, Jose Barrero. He started game one of this series. We did not see him last night. Fly ball, center field. Grisham over towards right center. Secures out number two. India will bat with two outs. Well, you like to see him hit with nobody out and leading off the inning. That is when he is at his best. Line in the left center field, a base hit for India. He's just a good hitter. Got down 0 and 2 and comes up with that base hit with two down. And speaking of swinging the bat, here's TJ Friedel. In comes Kim onto the infield grass to make the catch that ends the inning. Two and a half done. It's 2 0 Padres. And now two outs, Odor at first base and Sullivan coming up. Sullivan back at the wall. First home run in the major league for Brett Sullivan. Puts the Padres on top 4 to nothing. Brett Sullivan has driven in all four runs today. With two outs, lefty on lefty, Sullivan went out and got it. Brett Sullivan four, Cincinnati nothing. Faces Bogarts here, 0 for 2 on the day, grounded into a double play back in the third inning. Bogarts to right field, and that's a base hit. Bounced into the glove of Fairchild. Soto thought he caught it, and he's going to run into an out. Out at second base is Soto. He thought Fairchild made the catch and ran back to first only to receive the bad news. Oh that's too bad. So wait a minute. That's a force out. So no base hit for right. Xander Bogarts. It takes a hit away. Yeah that's a uh, fielder's choice there. That's the nine. Oh yeah. That is four to nothing in favor of the Padres. First pitch high fly left field and that is gone home run. This Reds team needed a spark and steer first pitch ambush his third homer of the campaign. Cincinnati is on the board. Walks the righty and now the bases will be loaded for Juan Soto. Line to right and that's in for a hit. Back to the track and the wall. Odor will score. Grisham will score. Here comes Fernando from first. They clear the bases. Juan Soto drives in three with his double, and the Padres take a 7-1 lead. Bases clearing double with two outs for the Pods here in the six. 7-1 ball game. Four of Soto's last five hits have been doubles. Beautiful day for baseball, and the Padres trying to close it out. Fly ball, center field. Grisham over towards right center. He's there, and he makes the catch, and the Padres win. Oscar has a one, two, three, ninth, and the Padres win the series.